Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I have all the leak code and hack rank solutions and playlists on my channel if you want to check those out. Also, everything else in the description. This problem is called transpose matrix. Uh, given a matrix A, return the transpose of it. Uh, what does transpose mean? I looked it up on Google. I'll show you what it means. Um, actually, I didn't define transposing. Uh, actually, we're going to need transpose. Transpose is cause two or more things to change place with each other. Well, that means the transpose of matrix is flipped over the main diagonal, switching the row and column indices. So we're going to be switching row and column indices, two or more things, swapping places. Okay, so as you can see here, I took the examples and I just commented them right here. So as you can see, the rows are becoming columns, the columns are becoming rows. So one, two, three is going to be a column, four, five, six is going to be a column, seven, eight, nine is going to be a column. And down here, you can see that one, two, three becoming a column is actually going to modify the number of rows and columns in our new array. Four, five, six, four, five, six. So what are we going to do? We're going to grab the number of rows, a dot length. We're going to grab the number of columns, a of zero dot length. Sorry about the noise. It is, I'm at school right now, and uh, it's noisy. So we're going to have int new matrix. We're going to define our new matrix. It's going to be empty at first. Um, and obviously, in some cases, we have to swap the dimensions. This doesn't actually swap dimensions because it's a square matrix, so that's going to work the best case, but um, sometimes we're going to be swapping dimensions, so we just have to account for that. Um, swapping places right here, so when we declare, um, this A would be of rows and columns, but actually we're going to have a different amount of columns and rows if it's not a square matrix, right? So we just swap those values. Then it's just a simple walk through the original array while I is less than uh, rows, I++. plus plus. Um, for you can do this two separate separate ways, but we're doing it this way. We're walking through the original array. J is equal to zero, while J is less than columns. Increment J. Having a little keyboard trouble here. And then this is the final part. Obviously, we're going to be returning our new matrix at the end of this. Um, all we have to do here now is just add values to our new matrix that we're going to return at the end. So, what are the values we're going to want to add? add if we want to turn the rows into columns. Well, if we're looping through A, you can either loop through A or you can loop through this new matrix, but we're looping through A's rows and columns. Then we're going to iterate through A, um, you know, normally. So A of I of J. So that would be a normal walk through A. And then we're just going to do a swap here to swap all the values, right? And this should be pretty intuitive. And if we run this, pretty straightforward here. Submit, perfect solution. There we go, first try. Um, so there we go. As you can see, just to explain it, A is this is just a for loop through A. So imagine we are printing these values. In this example, it would just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. New matrix J of I is actually going to be incrementing J. So J is being incremented here. The 1, 4, and 7, it's going to be in Obviously, this is an empty array. The columns are going to be incremented while A's rows are being incremented. So the rows values get put into the column values. We loop through everything. That's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you understood that. Let me know if you don't understand that or if you have a better solution in the comments below. And thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.